Welcome back. It's May the 2nd today. My name's Ethan, if this is your first time watching. So, tonight, it's 5 o'clock now, we're dealing with a flat tire on our TMI cart. So I just ran to the shop to come and change that out. I'm going to go, I'm going to grab my impact and sockets. I already have my floor jack at the barn because this morning we had another issue with feeding cows. The TMR cart fell through the floor in the back of the barn, or the gutter boards in the back of the barn is actually the right word. So we have these boards running along the top of our gutter and we got to drive over them with the TMR cart. TMR cart fell down in. I have a photo of it. It's not a very good one, but I have a photo. I'll put it up here somewhere when I'm editing. I'll do that. So, fell in there. Dad and I got it out. Took like four minutes or so to get it out, not even that long. Took a board, lifted it up a bit, slid the jack under, lifted the jack up. Then we have a bunch of metal plates that are supposed to be over the top of the back of them boards. And we just slid one of those under, set it down, drove the feed cart forward, and replaced the board. So, that's what we dealt with this morning. That's why the floor jack's ready in the barn. Wasn't that big of a deal, but I figured I'd just share that piece of information because someone might have thought it was cool or interesting. So, anyhow, let's get to changing some tires. All right, we got the jack under. The tire might not look flat because I put air in it, but it was flat, so we're gonna pop it off. Impact gun makes it look easy. So I got the old tire off now. Got the new tire. Uh, I was filling up the new tire with air. And then I thought, hey, I should probably um, check the pressure on it. So that's what I'm doing now. But I had to come back to the shop for reaching the toolbox. One of these tire pressure gauge. So. Them tires are high pressure, they go to 90 PSI. That's not setting the bead pressure, that's just the pressure they get ran at because those tires carry a lot of weight. So, yeah. Magnetic tool tray was causing some issues. So we're just gonna take it out for now. That's what all the banging was when I was trying to get at this. So, old tires off, setting pressure on the new tire, and then while we're at it, we'll set pressure on the tire on the other side. So, anyhow, back to it. All right, time to put them back on. All right, we've got the new tire on. Time to let it down. Jack lets it down really quick. Yeah. Need to adjust that, I guess. But anyhow, done. All right, everything is back together. So, like I said, tires back on. Got grain going in. Got tools half put away, I guess. I'll have to bring them all back to the shop. Got the tire back on, so that's good. So, I inflated the other tire as well. So that's all done. Speed cart sits quite a bit higher now because the other tire was, wasn't that low, but it took another 30 PSI, so yeah. Really high PSI tires because of all the weight. Each one of them, them little tires, it's rated for 600 and, well, just call it 700 kilos. But yeah, they put a lot of weight on a small tire. For reference, when this cart's full, I, the fullest I've ever filled it is a thousand kilos, so them little tires get pushed, not hard, but they get used to their capacity. All right, so I brought tools back to the shop. I got my mat, my jack, my Milwaukee Impact, 
my tire pressure gauge, my sockets. So in case you're curious, this is the jack I run. It's a three and a half ton floor jack. So it's a great tool. I bought one with a, I think it comes with a three year warranty. So every tool I buy, this tool is the exception. These impact sockets has some kind of warranty. This is my Rocky Impact 1400 pounds breakaway thousand fastening half inch drive Milwaukee fuel. I got these for free when I bought a scratch and dent toolbox. So I got a really good deal on the toolbox and everything. Then just a fitting mat. So those were the tools I was rocking for that job. So yeah. I buy pretty much all my tools with lifetime warranty. I think it's the way to go if you want reliability and just something that'll last. Anything with a warranty is better than if it doesn't have a warranty. So, with that, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Um, we're 18 subscribers away from 500. This video would be the 50th video. But there, this might become the 51st video if I put another video in between, like a, maybe it'll be a 50th video special or a 500 subscriber special with a bunch of drone footage or something. This compiled from the past year. I'm not sure. I know you guys really like the drone footage. I got, how many gigabytes of drone footage do I have? I filled up... One full 64 gigabyte SD card with drone footage, and for reference, a 20 minute video of just my phone camera quality is 2 gigabytes, so there's a lot of drone footage time. Now my drone does film 4K, but anyhow, not going to drag this out anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider liking. Please consider subscribing. Hopefully by the time this video is out, we have 500. Hopefully. God bless.